Hi everyone, David Maley here, and today this is part two. What I've decided to do is I was originally just going to do a, you know, a one piece by itself of the, uh, you know, how to do pivots in R, and so I've had some numerous requests to go and say, okay, well, what do we do with this beyond this? And I've already said, you know, you can use it for some of the videos I have on incrementality, seasonality, and of course the Sankey diagrams. But let's do some fun stuff with it anyway. So we're going to take that data that we pivoted out and we're going to do two things. With it. We're going to create some cool graphs with it and uh, do some exploratory data analysis on the data itself. So the first part is to be able to go and split up into these six pieces for graphs like this that we're going to be using. You can use the par uh, function which we've used before but the problem is that does not work correctly here. So in this case with these graphs that I'm using here what we have to do is we have to create a function. And rather than me creating a function, I'm going to give credit to this person up here. Um, let's open this up here. This is the actual place where I found this code. Okay, And it's from cookbook-r.com. A guy named Winston runs that website. And um, so this is the actual, right there is the location of that, uh, that website. And this is the code. So what he did was he created a function called multiplot. And here it is. He's creating this function, and he passes in uh, one, two, three, four values with this uh, three dots. And these three dots are to be, you know, what are the plots that I'm going to be passing in, so I can create multiple plots. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to have six plots, okay? And so what he does, he makes a list from this right here, and he makes it with the uh, plot list is null, and then he's got the list being added, and he's putting that all together. And then he goes and gets the number of plots by the length, func length function of the plots. And if is null, you know, then he does this, um, creates the uh, matrix, the sequence, the ceiling or the height of the number of plots, columns, number of columns, and rows. Okay. And then if they equal equal one, then he's going to print the plots. Else, what he does, is he creates this which is a grid news page and he's going to push the viewport this is a new functions here you don't have to write this just have to run it as is and what this does is it's going to go and create a grid this based on the number of rows of our layout okay remember we just did this right here where we then this function it creates the number of rows and number of columns of the layout they're all right here from the ceiling of the uh, for the number of columns and the number of rows so then for each one in that, what it does is it goes and gets the uh, plot and puts it in there. Um, and it does it through this VP because viewport function, which is right here. And you can just actually copy this code just like this. So this section and you would run just click control and enter if you're in R Studio. And that's basically how you'll do this part. Then you'll see what I'll do next time. In the next video is we're going to go and create uh, several plots, okay, one, two, three, six of them, and then we'll run it with this multi-plot function. So the main thing on this one is, you know, we're going to use this multi-plot function from Winston at uh, cookbook-r.com, and it's actually cookbook-r.com, graphs, multiple graphs on one page, ggplot2. That's what he has. That's the page that that's on. But you can use it, and it's right here. And uh, that's the code right there that we just went through. So in the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to create the plots, and then we're going to use this function by calling multiplot, and uh, we'll create a six-part graph like this. Okay. So I'll see you in a bit, and um, you know, make sure you check out cookbook-r.com. They've got some great stuff out there, great code and stuff. Uh, for learning and all kinds of other great ideas. Thanks again. Please subscribe if you haven't already and like and be, stay tuned for the next video.